How are you? My name is Mr. J.M. Kimani, a lecturer in quantitative analysis. Welcome to lesson two of queuing theory. Lesson two is a continuation of lesson one that we are going to have some illustrations and we use the formulas we have on the board. These formulas, uh, we looked at them uh, in lesson one. So we want to use a question and in practice, we use it uh, to understand all these formulas. Now we have several questions in our past paper. Uh, let's look at December 2010. December 2010, question four, part C. December 2010, question four, part C, which you are being given that, Dr. Rosemary Meno, a renowned dentist, operates a dental clinic at the city center. Patients arrive at the clinic at a mean rate of 20 patients per hour. The consultation period taken by Dr. Rosemary Meno per patient is an average of two minutes. Each patient is allowed only one consultation per day. So required, Roman 1, the average number of patients in the queuing system. Number 2, the average number of patients in the queue. And number 3, the probability that there is no patient in the queuing system. Now, uh, without looking at what is required, using this question at, as our illustration and we're able to answer all these. So we would actually, uh, first of all, require to have the arrival rate and service rate. In that question, you have been given arrival rate to be 20 patients per hour. But the service rate, you have been given the service time. So how to get the service rate, we require to determine it this way. So if... We have been given the service time. Remember the service time? The service time. Uh, this one, on average, let's say it's two, two minutes. So the service rate, so which is, and this service time is what we wrote as one over. Let me just use it here as one over the service rate this way so one over so should we want to know the service rate then we will just need uh the this is um we need this so which is going to be the inverse of this which is say it is um uh this is two minutes but in one hour one hour has 60 minutes we can say it is a uh, 60 minutes we divide by two minutes so that we can have 30. These are 30 patients per hour. So in our case that we can start therefore the service rate is 30 uh, patients per hour while the arrival rate we have been given the 20 patients. So 20 patients per hour. Now this being the case we just want now to use all those formulas and we answer this case. So let's start with uh, the number one. Number one here, we, have been, uh, we, we require average waiting time in the system. So the waiting time in the system, which is WS, is going to be one divided by the service rate minus arrival rate. This is going to be one divided by 30 minus uh, 20 which is actually 1 over 10, and this is 0 0.1 hour. Or we can say it is 60, no, 6 minutes. Why? Should I take that 0 0.1 hour, I multiply by 60 minutes, which make an hour. Then that will give me 6 minutes. So the average waiting time in the system, whether you are being served or waiting, you are going to spend a whole of 6 minutes or 0 0.1 in the facility. Then when you come to the waiting time in the queue in the queue then remember the formula which is the formula which is what i've indicated here the formula which is uh, the arrival divided by service uh, multiplied by the difference between service and arrival then this now will give us 
So arrival is 6, not 6, but um, uh, 20. Arrival is 20. 20. You divide by 30 in bracket 30 minus 20. So this, of course, will give us 20 divided by 300 because this will be 10 multiplied by 30, which will be 300. So 20 over 300, this will be 20 divided by 300. This will be 0 0.067, uh, 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 which actually in uh, proportion is like saying 1 over 15. So this is um, 1 over 15, which you have said is like a 0 0.067. Hours on average, should you multiply this one by 60 minutes? This is actually four. This is four uh, minutes. That in the queue, in the queue, maybe at this at the waiting lounge, you are going to st spend the four minutes in the queue. But um, when you get to the uh, si the facility uh, to be, to be offered a service or for consultation, you take two minutes. And in, indeed, it's very true. It's very true that uh, the difference between six and uh, four is two minutes, which is what you are told, that uh, uh, Dr. Rosemary spends two minutes uh, with uh, a patient uh, for consultation. So that is very, very true, and uh, it is evidence there. Then average customer customers in this system. How many customers do you expect in this system? So in our case, as you look at uh, what we did here, so uh, these were workings. I just want to use the main formula I gave. Main formula I gave. So which is actually uh, the service rate, no, uh, arrival rate divided by the difference of the service and arrival. So this is going to give us, uh, this is 20 divided by 30 minus 20. And this one will be 20 over 10. 20 over 10 means uh, two patients. So we expect to find two patients uh, every time when you come to the system. In the whole system, we expect to find two patients. And this whole system means the two patients, one must be with Dr. Rosemary getting the service or either uh, being or consul consulting. They, there's another one at the service launch, and that is the position. Then when you come to the average customers in the queue, in the queue, which I gave all these, so we can just use uh, this one. Uh, okay, our, our normal formula, which is uh, the arrival rate squared divided by the difference of uh, the arrival and service times the service, which is going to be uh, 20 squared, you divide by 30, in bracket 30 minus 20, which of course this will give us um, the 400, you divide by the 300. So this is... Um, 400 divided by 300, which will give us 4 over 3. So remember, uh, when you say 20 squared, we would expect to be 400 divided by 300, which is um, 1.33. This is 1.33. So 1.3. Patience. Now, of course, uh, the, the truth of the matter is that those people who will be at the waiting lounge is only one person. The other one, remember, is seeing Dr. Rosemary. So in the system, there are two. So one is the launch, and the other one is in seeing Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Rosemary. The issue of 0 0.2 comes in because this one patient, though he is uh, waiting at the launch, he is not. Uh, he is not actually heading to the uh, to the chamber. Uh, to get the service, not heading there. He still have some time to wait. Meaning, the person who is getting the service or either uh, getting consultation, he is actually not uh, through with uh, his time. He, he has some few time that uh, he's going to spend uh, before uh, finishing with the doc Dr. Rosemary, uh, before this person now can, can join in. So therefore, there is a part, there is a part of that patient who is with Dr. Rosemary at the moment that he has not completed and therefore is going to, we are going to take some time before this person can see Dr. Rosemary. That's why it is 1.3, but physically is one at the launch, the other one is with Rosemary. Then, the of being busy or having a queue or not receiving immediate service 
is just a uh, mu not, not me, but uh, the arrival divided by the uh, mu or uh, the service rate, which is going to be 20 divided by 30. This is two thirds. Two thirds. And two thirds is like saying 67.7% uh, uh, or 67 per 30. So this is a uh, 2 over 3, uh, which is 0 0.67. So we can have it as uh, this is a uh, 67% on average. So this. Uh, doctor, uh, she is busy 67% of her time, and therefore the 3% of her time she somehow uh, is idle, and therefore would expect uh, her to see some other patients. So this is number six, probability of being idle. So Dr. Rosemary being idle or having no cue, like the way we have been asked there, at the same time, probability of getting immediate service then it's going to be 1 minus. So in our case, we'll have it as uh, the 1 minus 20 over 30, which is actually that 3%. The 3%, which is a third anyway. A third of her time, uh, she is somehow uh, idle, and she can be able to see a, a, a patient, and a patient can be able to get a immediate service. That's a third. Then probability of exactly n customers in the system like you have been asked about uh, uh, no patient, no patient, which of course, if we were to use this one, we say no patient, is now this one will be zero here. So, and anything raised to power zero uh, would actually uh, be one. So, if this is zero, and we put this one, uh, we make the whole answer is one, one times this remains this one. And that's why the answer will still be what? The 3%. But I want us to change. Instead of now saying exactly no customer, let us change and imagine that the question was asking us uh, that um, to find, let's say, exactly, uh, instead of two customers, because you have two patients in the system, let's say like three. Probability of exactly three customers in the system. So if I change this one now to be three, this one is now three patients in the, in, the, in the system, so we'll have it as 20 over 30, then you have three customers, then 1 minus 20 over 30. Remember, already we know that this is a third, so you just need to multiply this one. We take 20, 20 divided by 30, then we power 3, then you multiply by uh, 1 divided by 3, which is a third. This actually is 0 0.1. Uh, so this is 0 0.1. The probability that you may find three customers in the system. Of course, three customers means one is being served, the other, one, the other two are at the service uh, or waiting launch. So the probability is 0 0.1, which is so low, 10%. But probability of getting one customer also there is going to be higher. So this is only 10%. So the probability of more than n customers in the system. Let's still stick to our three. So more than three. So n is three. More than three customers in the system. Then of course now will be, this is um, mu or either arrival divided by service, which is 20 divided by 30. Then you have now three plus one, which is four. So this one will be an average of, so 20 over 30. 20 divided by 30, then raised to power 4. This is actually 0 0.2. Uh, uh, so 0.2 because it's 0 0.197. So you can have it as 0 0.2. So probably that you may get uh, more than 3, then that means uh, we'll get uh, this is 20%. But this one is 10%. Then we come to this one. Probability of less than N customers in the system, let's th still take this one to be three customers. So probability of finding or ha five, having less than three customers in the system will be one minus. So this one, should I, should I take as one minus 20 over, um, 20 over, um, this is um, 20 over 30, you power, there are three here, three. And in this case, our answer will be, first of all, 20 divided by 30, then you power 3, then 1 minus the answer. This is 0 0.7. So 
So this is actually 0 0.7. Now, indeed, looking at whether the formulas are very correct, you can even tell that uh, when talk of exactly 3, then below 3 and above 3, when you add, it will give you 1, which is true. 0.1. Point three and point, uh, point two, sorry, and uh, point seven. The ori all these coming to one hundred percent. So the formulas are very, very correct, and therefore, for this question, the probability that you may find more than three customers automatically, you'll get uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this one, twenty percent. Exactly three is one percent, um, zero point one, or which is ten percent, and actually, um, less than three is the seventy percent. So there is a very high chance that if you want to know whether you should go uh, for consultation and you are you you have no problem being the third one being the third pass uh, patient in that uh, hospital so you are in that clinic so you, you may look at this probability that uh, if uh, you you as 30 70% is so high then of course you'll go <coughs> you'll go there and they say that ah I'll find less than 3 and therefore I'll be the third one assuming so therefore there's 70% chance and that's how so a customer can uh, can use this probability to know whether he, sh he should go uh, for the service or not. Then number ten is probability of X customers arriving in the system in T time. So here we have to make our own question. So assuming that we say that the probability of remember in um, we have been told that um, if arrival rate is uh, twenty, arrival rate is twenty customers or twenty patients. Thank <music> you.